Hey, it's Dr. Ahmed here. This is Laura, our nurse here at L2 110. So what we're talking about today is getting a HIV viral load. So we've just drawn blood and it's on two lavender tops. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the blood mm -hmm. and I'm gonna ask Laura to kind of help me out and make okay. sure I do it right. So you just do them right across from each other to make sure that the centrifuge is balanced. Okay. And they'll kind of fall into the little things. Can you repeat that again? So you put them... You just make sure that the centrifuge is balanced. Okay. So they're equally full, full lavender tops. Alright. And, and then you spin it. And you want to spin it immediately after you draw it. You don't have to let it sit. And we spin it for... It should automatically spin for the right time. Oh, okay. Alright. And then once that is done spinning, what we'll do is some plasma comes on top of it. And then... It uh, we'll use some pipettes or pipettes. Do you want to do it into the, or is that yes. just for show? No, that's for. Uh, I like to use it for that. So here is Lab Corp's trans pack uh, that they want to be used for transportation of the viral load. So basically, if you look on the back, it'll kind of explain um, how to take care of the trans pack. So as it says, you freeze the trans pack lying on its side, and you shake to assure the coolant is frozen, and you place, place the uh, trans pack samples, must be frozen separately in the frozen specimen tube. So when you unscrew this, you're gonna have this little tube that comes out, and this is where the plasma's gonna go. So remember, this is frozen. Or if you shake it and you don't hear the fluid swooshing, that means it's frozen. And so we're gonna, once we get the plasma out, we're gonna put it in here, and it's gonna be ready for transport. Okay. Does it say it needs to be frozen before you put it in there? Yes. So they'll wanna put that in the freezer first? Yes. And then freeze? Yep, so you gotta put this in the freezer um, first, separately, and then you put it into the trans pack when it's ready for pickup. So it's all spun and um, Laura's going to take the tubes out and show us how to take the uh, plasma part of it. So the thing about these tubes is that when you separate the plasma, there's no barrier like there is with the gel tubes. So you want to take it out carefully to not remix the plasma. So you pull it out and you can see the plasma is separated on top. So this is your transport tube. So you're just going to take the transport tube, get it ready and then pop the top off. And then you're gonna take out the plasma with the pipette, being careful not to go all the way down to where it's separated. So you really wanna put the pipette in just enough so that you can get the plasma, not all the way down into the blood. Correct. Can you? So you can see here, there's still a little bit of plasma left on top, but I'm just gonna leave that because we have another tube as well. So I put that one down, and then you do the same thing. Carefully take out the other tube to not remix it. Let's take a shot of how it looks. Okay. And then just do the same thing with that tube to get the rest of the plasma. So you can see you don't want to go all the way down. So then this tube needs to freeze separately on its own before putting it in there. So you would mark it like you usually do, patient sticker, whatever you guys do, and then you would freeze it. Alright. Sounds good. And that's how you do an HIV viral load. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. You're welcome.